today I thought I would share how I organize and um, keep my closet clean um, because I have my own little way that I do it and then I taught Gabrielle my way and now she can't do it any other way and I'm trying to convert my sister Hanukkah to my method because when clothes are just jumbled together with no order it drives me nuts because I have a certain order that I keep clothes so yeah um so I'm gonna be holding my video so it might be a little shaky and stuff and you probably will not be seeing me during this whole like closet organization tour type video yeah so um yeah i'm gonna go show you my cl closet now okay so this is my closet door i share with my sister it's a walk-in a smaller one and in front of, by the side of the door this is my bedroom door i keep my um the shoes right here are my best shoes and i wear those the most during the summertime along with my leopard flats that i'm wearing right now so yeah let's go in so um we'll start with tops i have them organized from light to dark so down here's my blacks and grays so I have my whites, and then I have whites with some color. Then I go to pinks, and then I go to reds, orange, peaches, cream. Because creams are completely different than your whites. Then I go into purples, and then um, blues. Um, then from blues, I go into like mint, and then green, and then think that a lot and then ah, I have tan brown gray and then black because you wouldn't put your grays with your whites or cream because it's a shade of black so you put it here and then I have all my skirts which um I really don't do an order I just keep them together and most likely by like how I wear them how often I wear them and stuff like, I'll try to keep, like, my maxis together, or skirts I don't hardly ever wear. I keep those together, so it's not with the skirts I'm wearing, like, all the time, like, every day. The next, I have dresses, and I have them by polka dots first, and then it goes to flowers. Um, my lace dress would be under flowers because there's a flower print on it, and then after flowers, it goes to any other patterns like gingham, stripes, um, then after that I have solid color dresses, um, then I have my, even though this, this is a striped, it's a very long maxi dress from Anthro that I keep back here, then I keep my formal dresses, um, for summer and winter back here, and my vintage full size slip here and then these are my sh winter and uh, other shoes that I don't keep out there and shoes that don't always fit me because in the summer I'm a completely different size of what than I am in the winter so I have different sizes of shoes for different seasons and because some days my feet will be really big and some days my feet will be small and it's very confusing. Um, then I have a little hook rack from Ikea that I, me and my sister store our necklaces on here. Um, I used to do it by length, but then for some lengths I have so many, or we have so many of that we sort of keep all the shorter ones on this side and have them by chains, lengths, and charms over on here. Um, also the shoes are in really no order except the ones I wear the most are usually on higher than I try to keep all the flip flops and beach shoes near the bottom because I don't get to those as much. And then um, up here I have this I it's very hard to keep organized because they'll just fall down all the time. I have all my winter and summer, spring, all year round 
pants and shorts. I have wool trousers up there. And also my junkier clothes are down here. And my sweat, two pairs of sweats and gardening clothes, painting outfits. Those are all kept here. And then in this Rubbermaid, I keep all of my, most of my tights and knee-high socks for the winter in here. And then in shoe boxes like these, I keep all my belts. I have a fabric belt, small width, small width belts. Um, I have winter gear in this box, like gloves and like warmers and medium width belts, wide belts. And then in this pink box from Ikea. I have all my scarves rolled and stored in there. And let's see if we can get down here. This is where I keep my bags. I keep them on this shelf and down here on the floor. Um, up here I have two of my bigger size um, purses. I have a white and pale pink one down here. And then I have my vintage handbags and my Kate Spade handbag. And then in this box I have um, my clutches, um, laptop um, bags, messenger bags, tote bags, and any cloth bags in here. And then I have my really big thick heavy duty laptop bag down here for longer trips and then just right now out here I'm using a lot I have my cast kitchen oil canvas tote bag that um, my friends gave me for um, my birthday um, and then down here I have my other other size bag it's my Birkin inspired um, bag that I use for my laptop and work that, and this is from JustFab.com. And then down here, I have my other nicer bags. This is my Neela Anthony Blue Ruffle Messenger bag. This one, a little black bag. And then down here, I have my black and brown bag, basic. My Nika Mustard Hope Crossbody bag. And I've been collecting all of these bags since I was at least 10 and I'm going to be 22 Thursday so this is over 10 years of collecting bags collection in fact a lot of my clothes I've had a good number of my later of my teen years some of them I've had that was 13 yeah so then we skip my sister's clothes and then here I have some fun and thinner tights that can work in the spring and those cooler summer days where it just need a little something. I have vest, borlos, um, sweatshirts, and then I have my thicker winter sweaters and I have a lace like jacket shirt that I keep over here, sweaters, cardigans, um, this is sort of like a jean jacket, but I need to like refashion it, um, because it's too long on me, and then I have blazers, and my faux leather jacket in here, and I have all my winter, all my season, um, cardigans and blazers and everything because it's just easier and they keep nicer and I have it all by category as you see I like to keep all my cardigans together all my blazers together and once in a while I will put my blazers in color order but right now I sort of have them as I reach for them it's easier to get and then not so much in the back so it's kind of flipped right now the easier one, the one I wear in more in the back, and the one I don't wear much in the front. Huh. That's odd. That's funny. Yeah, and then I have just vest. And I don't really wear these a lot, but I just keep them because, in fact, there's a good number of, like, my shirts and stuff that I don't wear a lot, but I keep them just because I never know. I may need it, or it's good. 
lifestyle challenge or I just never know. I have a hard time getting rid even though it may not be a favorite anymore. I have a hard time letting go. Yes, yeah, so I think that's pretty much my closet. Yes. Yeah, so down there is also down there and everything's all my sisters. So all these clothes aren't mine. Um Okay, I figured since I showed you my jewelry in my closet, I might as well show you the rest of my jewelry and how I store it out here. Um, on this little owl jewelry stand, I have most of my dangle earrings here. I have um, sort of my more elegant drop earrings here. And then I have more trendy, fun earrings here. Dainty dangle earrings and then my hoops and then onto my hoops I have hooked my new peacock feather earrings. And then up here I just have silver and gold earrings. Um, and down here I have these that I have to put away up there and just some random earrings. Some of the bike couldn't find the other posts I just put in there. And these are just my Eiffel Tower earrings that are very hard to get off and out here so sometimes I just put them down there. Then also for sure it's some of this is my sister's but I have like some of my pins in here, um, rings, all of my posts and fancier earrings are in this little box. Uh, here I guess I have some pendants and hair things that you stick in and not combs, that's right. And then I have brooches and pins and then hair another pin that should be in here. I also have a chain necklace on my little mirror here. I did this oil painting. Um, yeah, here I have my bracelets. Um, in these bags, I have my new J. Crew um, gold braided bracelet here. And this is a cuff that my best friend Ikea um, from Remalin Studio made for my 22nd birthday. Let's see if I can get that one-handed. That's really cute. Okay, yeah, here it is. Here's how it hooks on with buttons. And it's burlap lace and vintage buttons. I love this. Yeah, and then I have my vintage hand mirror. In the mirror part, doesn't stick in, so I usually have to just stick it back in. That's what's like that. And then, yeah, I have my extra glossy box and birch box boxes here that I'll be using for storage soon in my bathroom. And who knows, I may put hair stuff in it. Oh, hair! I have head wraps, um, flower pins here. Ribbon for me and all my sister's hair, and then headbands here, and then I have my baseball cap hanging here. So yeah, that's my, and then my dresser, it's like this, this side's mine, and then my bottom drawers where I keep all my t-shirts, tanks, and camisoles. And I have them all stacked by solid, um, polo. Um, shirts with graphic designs on them. And all my tanks and camisoles are right here. I won't open it because right now it's a mess. I haven't gone back and reorganized it. I usually have to reorganize my closet and dresser at least once or twice a month. So, yeah. That is sort of like my closet, wardrobe, dresser, jewelry, how I organize and everything. So, 
yeah. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and, um, yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!